Good morning, everybody, and ignore that message that just appeared on screen saying that this video is sponsored by the publisher. Unfortunately, that was the loading screen from yesterday's video. This video is not sponsored by the publisher. Uh, I'm going to very quickly just let you know that this uh, this video, not sponsored by the publisher, <laughs> just to clarify, um, voted on by my Patreon supporters and funded through my Patreon campaign. So each month, I allow my Patreon supporters, allow, that's the wrong word, my Patreon supporters vote on which game I'm going to be playing solo in the month. Uh, and it was a goal of the campaign last year, and it reached that goal. Uh, it's just need to mute this. There you go. Um, it reached that goal in December of last year. So basically, once a month, I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of a game voted on by my patrons. I, I, I usually put out a note to say what games would you like to include on the list. Uh, this was included on the list, and this got the most votes. It was very close, but Nusfjord is the game that I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of this month. Broadcasting on YouTube at the moment. I sometimes broadcast on Twitch and Facebook as well. Today I'm just broadcasting on YouTube and the reason for that is it's less intensive on my software to broadcast on just one channel. But also, uh, for those of you who aren't, uh, who haven't followed me, the news in the last couple of weeks, I have recently turned on YouTube advertising. So you would have received like a five second skippable advert at the start. All money at the moment is being donated to Doctors Without Borders. Uh, to help fight the coronavirus. So that's what I've done. I've turned on YouTube advertising and all money is going to there. So by, by the views on uh, YouTube, uh, basically it's all raising money for charity. So spread the news about the videos that I'm doing. Uh, obviously it gets the word out there and it raises more money as well. Anyway, Nusfjord, a game I really enjoy. I have done a review of this game. Um, so if you want to see what I actually think of it in a bit more detail, there is a re review on my channel. What I'm going to be doing today and I'm just going to switch to the overhead camera now and hope my software doesn't crash. There you go. Right. The YouTube, uh, the chat is working. Thank you for everybody for joining in. Um, my hair is getting longer. Yes, my hair is definitely getting longer. Um, right. So what I'm going to be doing today is I thought I could just do a solo playthrough of Nusfjord. I'm not going to do that today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do three because the game comes with three decks, which are I'm just going to move that out of the way now. There's three decks. Uh, where's the first deck? There's this deck, which is, I believe, the Herring deck. Then there's the Mackerel deck. And then there is the Cod deck. Now, there's also a Place deck, which I don't have. Um, but what I'm going to be doing today is I'm actually going to be doing uh, three playthroughs back to back using each of the decks because you don't mix the cards up. You only ever use one type of fish. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now, this doesn't look quite straight. There you go. Anyway, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. This is not going to be a tutorial as such, but I am going to kind of explain it as I go. I have had to very quickly relearn how to play the game this morning. I haven't played it for about two years. So strategy wise, I'm going to be very, very rusty. Very, very high level overview of the game. We're fishing. We are. We own a major fishing company in Nusfjord. Uh, on the Lofoten Archipelago, and we're developing and expanding the harbour. We're playing over seven rounds, which is tracked on here. These are the seven rounds. And we basically count up the victory points at the end. Is there a goal? Is there a goal? Solo game. Game end and scoring. After seven rounds, score your display. Try and score as many points as possible. There we go. So I'm basically going to write the score down. I'll put it in the show notes afterwards. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll, it says good players score 30 to 40 points. Not expecting to do that. Now, some of you will know that I play Nusfjord with a house rule. I'm not going to use that house rule for the first two games today. I'm going to play the first game, just the basic solo game. The second game, I'm going to play the advanced scoring game, which means I need to get some extra bits out of the box. And then in the third and final game, I am going to be using my house rule today. I personally believe my house rule makes the game a better game for me. I know lots of people disagree. Hence why I said it makes the game a better game for me. You don't have to use it. And if you disagree with it for whatever reason, I'm not saying you should use it. Um, but I am going to use my house rule in the third game just so you can see how that plays out. Uh, and for the reasons why I'm using it. Right. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get as many points as we can. You will see the points printed on the various things on the board. So you'll notice the ships have star values on uh, the buildings will have star values on when the buildings come out. Shares will have star values on. We're trying to get points. Now, we've chosen uh, that we're going to be using the, the Herring deck. And there are A, B and C cards. So within the A, B and C cards, you can see them here, uh, each one of these is going to get shuffled. And we're going to be putting 
Oh, so Rick's saying he got a Frost Haven advert this morning. <laughs> that's, that's appropriate, isn't it? Um, and we deal out nine of these. So the variability in the game is these, these cards. Because in the solo game, this is it. We're going to get nine cards and we're not going to see any more cards. In games with more than, I think it's more than one player or maybe even more than two players, um, you actually will get more buildings out as the game goes on. But in the solo game, we only use, that's pretty much half of them. And what I've done before, I've actually played um, multiple solo games of this. And the first game I used half of the A's and half of the B's. And then in the second game, I used the other half of the A's and the other half of the B's so that I saw them all. I'm going to have a look at these in a minute because you might want to adapt a strategy based on what comes out. So there you go. They are the buildings. Now that colour, uh, Michelle's here in the chat and Groovy Cathers as well and B's here and Bruce and Preston. Wow, lots of people in the chat. Thank you very much. I wasn't sure 10 o'clock in the morning whether it was actually going to be a good time, but it seems to be uh, an okay time. So yeah, I'm just going to drop the colour down a little bit. It looks a little bit saturated. Oh, that looks even worse. What's going on with the colours? It looks like it's a bit too bright. Okay. Well, there we go. Right. I fiddled around the colours a bit. Gareth here as well. Hi, Gareth. Um, so yeah, so these are the buildings. And if my fancy zooming thing is working, it is. We can now have a look at all of the buildings that are in the game. There we go. So um, the cost to build the buildings is on the left hand side, which is a combination of uh, wood, fish and actual gold. And then you build the building, you put it onto your player board. It's some of them are worth points at the end of the game. That's the number in the top right. So the shipping office is worth three. Uh, and they all have a special ability. I can't remember the difference between the colours. I think the colours in the top left is important. Uh, like the green ones trigger after you do something. The grey ones are a permanent ability and the red ones I think are an immediate one. So, ships cost two wood less. Immediately get four fish. Discount on ships. So those two will combo together. Uh, after you build a ship. Okay, so we've got three buildings here that promote ship building. Theatre is going to get points um, based on when you build it. But it costs gold, costs more gold. Yeah, so that's a big point scoring card. Immediately build a ship, you get a free sloop. So immediately get a free sloop. Right, okay. Immediately reforest up to twice. After you build a building, ah, so if I'm going to be building buildings, I want that first. And the portal, immediately issue a share receiving six wood and six fish for it instead of gold. Okay, now, so they're the A buildings. They have good effects during the game. The B buildings are a little bit stronger, but they're more expensive. Whenever there are eight or more fish in your reserve, transfer it, okay? Whenever your reserve is empty, get a gold. After you deforest, remove a forest to get three wood. Oh, plus three wood, okay. Uh, whenever one of your elders discards fish, get wood. Before you build a ship, get a gold. Ah, okay. And at any time I can exchange food. Right, okay, so there's the buildings. Uh, we also have these elders. Now these elders are fixed. So unlike the buildings, which were randomly chosen, these elders are fixed. Um, and this pile here has two elders. You can't buy the second one, which is the builder, uh, until the contractor has been taken. Right, the rest of the setup is done. I shouldn't have this fish here. Um, we have the sea cards that will come out in a minute. So we have our personal supply, which is empty. Uh, if you do know the game quite well, uh, then if I do make any mistakes, let me know. I start with two shares uh, and three unissued shares. And basically each round consists of three phases. There is the fishing phase, which is printed on here. Then there is the action phase. Why is this not printed on the board? It should be printed on the board. Fishing phase, action phase, and then the uh, sorry, the work phase, and then the returning home phase. I'll put the rule book there. So in the fishing phase, yeah, I think we're ready to start. Yeah, fishing phase. You look at your shipping track here. So you can see, let's just zoom in for you. In fact, let's leave that on there and let's use zoom number two for this. So you can see here, um, because I've only got this little fishing ship here, I'm basically going to get three fish. Okay, as I build more ships, I will get more fish at the start. So we take three fish from the supply, which is off camera. The game comes with lots of these little fish, which is cool. Um, and what you do is you have to put them in a certain place. So first of all, elders, I don't have any elders, they would go here. Share your shares in foreign possession. 
So if we were playing a multiplayer game, the other players that have my shares, they would have to get the fish first. Your shares in your personal supply, well, I have two. These unissued ones don't count. And then my reserve. So my reserve goes here. Now, the interesting thing with this game is you can't spend anything in your reserve. You can only spend stuff in your personal supply. There are ways to get it from the reserve into the personal supply. But that's the fishing phase done. Um, so now we are placing. And in the first round of the game, I'm placing the red workers. I have three workers to place and I send them out to work on this board here. This is the action board. This is where I get to do uh, all of the actions in the game. Um, also, we've got this copy and action board, but I'm not going to need that at the start. So let's have a think about what I wanted to do. I think we're going to go with lots of boats because the buildings have come out that seem to be looking good for boat building. But the Seafaring Society, if I've got that card, that's before I build a ship, I get a gold. Now, the other cool thing with this game is there's an appendix with everything listed. Um, so you can look it up, alphabetical order, it's all here. So if you're not sure how anything works, this is from the Herring deck. Each time before you take a build ship action, take one gold from the general supply and place the gold in your personal supply. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you got the build ship action and know that you may use this gold to build the ship. Uh, in particular, the effect of the Seafaring Society allows you to initiate a build ship action even if you cannot afford a ship at the moment, provided that you'll be able to build one after getting the gold. There you go. Right. Okay. Uh, is it too early for fish puns? No, it is not too early for fish puns. Please put fish puns in the chat. Uh, remember to move your fish from your shares to your personal supply. Thank you, Philip. I had learned that this morning. So yeah, any share, any fish that you get on your shares at the end of the fishing phase goes to your personal supply. So I have two fish. Uh, I have two fish that I can spend. Now, is there anything that I can do with that two fish? No, there isn't. Now, I should also be looking at these elders because you can use this space here to get an elder and use it immediately, but you have to take a fish from here to get the elder. Uh, now there is a sailor, which allows you to serve fish. And I do have two fish, but then one's gonna go there and it's gonna need two to go there. So that, now that's not gonna be it. I need more fish. We'll wait for doing that later on. Uh, I think we need to issue a share to get some gold. That's what we need to do. So I'm gonna use my first worker on this space here which is to issue a share and get two gold. So basically what I do is I take one of my unissued shares and I put it in here as an issued share and I get two gold, which is these tiny, tiny little pieces here. These really, really tiny gold counters. I'm going to put them just below my board there. Uh, now each one of these is worth one point at the end of the game. Um, but I'm going to be spending it. So that's my first action. I went there, issued a share, got two gold. The next thing I do is I'm going to need wood. So I'm going to choose, because this is where you place your buildings, um, and these are forested spaces. If you've played games like, um, well, Fields of Arla or what's the other one? Glass Road works in a similar way. I've, there's more spaces available, but I've got to basically deforest these areas. So I'm going to choose the thin out action because the thin out action gets me one wood per forest. And there's actually two forest tiles here. So that's going to get me four wood without actually removing any of these. The other option was to deforest, which removes one of them completely and gets you five wood. Um, but then you've got you've got more space to build buildings. So I'm going to choose the thin out action and I get myself four wood. OK, and then my third action is going to be to build a building and I am going to build the seafaring society. OK, so that costs me uh, one wood uh, and two gold. There you go. Uh, okay, so Graham is saying that there are re replacements for the coins in the place deck, um, which actually comes with metal coins, but they're not enough to replace all of the money. Which <laughs> that. So this goes anywhere on my board. It doesn't matter. Uh, I've covered up a minus one space and it's worth two points itself. And now any time before I build the ship, I'm going to get a gold. That is the end of the first round. In the solo game, your workers do not come home at the end of the round. What happens is we switch to round two and now I'm placing the blue workers. And then at the end of round two, the red workers will come back. So fishing phase. Again, three fish. Uh, so elders, haven't got any elders. Shares in foreign possessions. So that goes there. Then shares in my own possession, which goes there. None left. And then at the end of the fishing phase, 
I move them to there. Okay, so now we're set up. We've got the seafaring society. Um, and off we go. I'm going to have to get the place deck for this game because I do really enjoy this game. I've not played it for a while, but it is good. So we're placing these three blue workers. The first one is going to be on. Now, I was going to build a ship. But actually, I probably want to go for these other buildings. Ships cost two wood less. So if I get that first, after you build a ship, get two wood. So actually, I'm going to have to just build these buildings first. Now, I can't use this use and issue a share space, but I can because there is a copy and action space. So I could copy my action, issue another share. Oh yeah, I've got to do this, haven't I? Yeah, definitely. So I'm going to use my first worker up there to copy an action to issue this share. So I've issued a second share. That gets me two gold. There you go. Then I'm going to use this action to build a building, which is here. Ship synergies are strong in this game. Yes. Oh, Cisco's here as well. Hi. You missed the first wave of the deck and then it ended up getting it from Games Law. Yeah. No, Nussfield keeps getting discounted. It, recently, this has been available for a cheap price. I'm not sure why. Maybe they printed too many and it wasn't selling. I don't know. Anyway, don't lose track, Paul. Build a building. I'm going to build the slipway. Or the raft builder. Or both. I mean, I can't build both this turn, but I think this turn I'm going to build the slipway. So that's going to go there. That's going to cost me one gold. Right, third one. What do we want to do? Now, we could take an elder at this point. Um, let's just have a look. Or oh, there is the forest manager. Um, or oh, there's the contractor. Pay three fish and remove zero, one or two forests to build a building. Hmm. I mean, can I buy the shares back? No. When you buy shares, you have to pay one gold per share. I have only got one gold and you have to buy all of the shares that are in there. Um, I mean, there is just a space to get a gold, but I probably don't want to do that. I don't want to reforest. And I don't want to build a ship until I've got set up. So... I'm not sure. I think I might take an elder. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? It might work. Uh, I could do with six fish. No, no, I've got plus one gold and plus one wood per served plate. Hmm. What does the pond builder do? Distribute four fish. What do you think I should do in the chat? Which which of these elders should I get? I mean, I'm not going to get the harbour master because that exchanges sloops for cutters and we're not at that stage yet. Or a cutter for a schooner. Distribute four fish plus one fish per building as you would during the fishing phase. I could do that because I've actually got two buildings. But the later I take that, the better. Oh, constructor. I'm not going to take the constructor until I've got the raft builder. So, just checking the chat, there's discussion. Uh, sailor. So, Tim is saying, take the sailor. Okay, we'll take the sailor. So, here's what happens when you take an elder. I have to choose the action space to take an elder. The elder goes on your board. In order to take an elder, you must remove a fish from here, starting from that end and going down. That fish goes there. And then I get to use it immediately. So, I get to serve fish. Serving fish is normally an action that you can take here but I'm going to get to do it automatically because of this. So the first fish, first space has to have one fish on it. The second one has to have two, but you just put one on there, one back to the supply. Now, normally you would get one gold per served plate. So I served two plates, which is two gold, but because of the sailor, it says plus one gold and plus one wood per served plate. Now, the first time I played it, we got this wrong. We were doing it um as plus one gold and plus one wood pause per served plate and i don't think it is i think it's i think it's plus one gold comma and then plus one wood per served plate i think that's what it is let me know in the chat um if uh and demetrius is here if you took the constructor you would have built the card you wanted Yes, probably. But let me know about the sailor. I think it is just one extra gold, no matter how many plates you served, 
um, and then two wood. I think that's right, but this wording could have been done the other way and I can't quite remember if I've done that right or not. So let me know. That is my three actions. Workers come home. It is the red workers that come home. One, two, three. Yeah, it's something like that, says Scott. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Again, it's the, it's the wording. It should have been, uh, it should have been plus one gold, full stop, or comma, and plus one wood per served plate is, is how it would, because that's subject to interpretation or misinterpretation. Right, we're on round three. So we have all of our stuff now to build our buildings. My computer's vibrating a bit. Um, so we're going to build the raft builder. Yep, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go here. We're going to build the raft builder. That goes here. That costs me one wood and one fish. Oh, tell you what, I've not done my fish. Not done my fish. Sorry, it should have been three fish for the fishing phase. One goes on an elder and the other two go on there. Yeah, apologies. And done that. Uh, yeah, I mean, is the sailor, is it explained in the appendix? Should I just look it up? Yes, they are sailors. Um... From the general supply, take the usual one gold and an additional one wood. Ah, no, it's not even the extra one gold. Ah, right, okay. So, it is, instead of one gold per served plate, it's one gold and one wood per served plate. Right, okay. So, the wording is correct, but it's not in addition to that. It's just a replacement for that. There you go. One gold and one wood instead of one gold. Thank you, Graham. Um, yeah, we've got like a nine second delay on the YouTube chat, so I'll get there eventually. Right, I've just done the fishing phase for round three. Then I've built a building, which is the raft builder. I think I spent the wood. Uh, so now we've got the seafaring society, the slipway, the raft builder. Do I want to wait any longer? I mean, the, the, the shipping office would be great. And that's, that's then really comboed it together well. But I'll tell you what, I could buy the shares. Now, buying the shares, you have to buy all of the shares that are there. Um, maybe I should issue a share first. Yeah, let's issue a share. Uh, fish on issued shares go back to the supply at the end of the fishing phase. Do they? Oh, okay. I see. Oh, yeah, because they've gone to other players. Thank you. Um, but those shares are going to get me more points. And I think let's do this. I'm going to issue a third share. So that goes there. I get two gold. OK, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on here and I'm going to buy all of the shares. Now, in rounds one to three, that costs one gold per share. And you get a discount if it was round four and a further discount if it was round six or seven. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy all of my own shares. So I'm now a 100 percent holder in the company. That cost me three gold. OK, and that's my three actions done. So now we go to round four, the blue workers are going to come off and here is where the C buildings come into the game. So we put four C buildings in the display. Now the C buildings are generally end game scoring ones. Shares and ships are usually better to start with. Okay, it's just a, we're on round four and I've not built a ship yet, but that's because I'm, that's because I'm building all of this stuff up. Okay, so we want four Four buildings in the, in the C display. I'm not sure where that's supposed to go. Because that's A, that's B. I'll put them down at the bottom. We have the wharf. We have the market hall. Uh, we have the harbour installation. And we have the retirement home. Now, I'll mention my house rule later on. But this is, this is kind of why I have my house rule. I don't like these coming out halfway through the game. I would have liked to have known what these were so I could formulate a strategy. Luckily for me, and it was just luck, the harbour installation has come out and I've decided that I've gone with the ship building route, but these could have all been rubbish or they could have all been great. So that's probably what I'm going to be aiming for, which because I'm going to be building lots of boats and that's going to get me 10 wood. Okay, right, so we are round four, we've put the buildings out, we've taken the blue workers back, we're now issuing fish um, or distributing fish and it's still three. Now, the first one goes on elders. So there you go. That goes on there. Now, whenever an elder gets full, you get one of those and the other two go back to the supply. OK, shares in foreign possession. There is none. Shares in your own possession is these two. And then those goes there. 
those go there, those go there. So unfortunately, my income of fish is not enough for all of the shares that I've got. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, now we're taking a turn. So I'm going to build the shipping office. Where's the blue workers gone? Here's the blue workers. Right, so we're going to build a building and we're going to build the shipping office, which costs me a wood, a fish and a gold. There you go. Right, now then we've got everything in place for building ships. So we're going to build a ship. Now, let's just make sure I get these right. Before you build a ship, get a gold. Ships cost two wood less. After you build a ship, get two wood. And I get a discount. So what can I afford to build? Well, I can't afford to build a schooner because that costs, that costs a huge amount. I don't think I can even afford to build a cutter. Oh, no, I can. So ships cost two wood less and I get a discount of one wood on cutters. So that cutter is gonna cost me one gold and three wood, which I've got. So one gold, three wood to buy a cutter, which goes down here. Okay, and then after you build a ship, two wood into my reserve. So it's not mine to spend, it just goes into my reserve. There you go. I'm gonna have to do something with these colors. It's really, really bugging me that the colors on the screen don't seem to be Right, but if I up that, I don't know, does that, that seem too too colourful to you? Maybe I'll drop that down a bit. There you go. There's two there's two different settings that I don't fully understand. There's the saturation and the contrast. And I've upped the contrast and I've decreased the saturation. That looks better. There you go. Yeah, that looks a bit better, I think. Still looks a bit weird. Um, now, what I'm seeing on my screen is not exactly what's going out, oddly enough. So we've done that, we've built a ship, that's increased the income. Uh, what do we want to do now with the third worker? We could take another elder and we could use the harbour master and we could exchange this cutter for a schooner. That's what we could do. Now that's gonna increase my income. No, my income is currently six. Oh, I could use a constructor to build a building or a ship. Can I build a sloop? Yeah, I can build a sloop. Let's do that. So we're gonna to go to here to take an elder. I'm gonna take the constructor, which requires a fish from there. And the ability is to build a ship. Before you build a ship, get a gold. And then I'm gonna build the sloop. So I get a discount of two wood because of the slipway and one fish because of the shipping office. So it literally just costs me one fish and I get a sloop. And then after I build a boat, I get two wood into my reserve. Combo-tastic. Colour looks better now. Right, thank you. Um, that's it. That's those three workers placed. So return to work phase. The red ones come home. And now we get the exciting part of distributing seven fish. I'm easily excited. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fish. So remember, elders first. So one on there, one on there. Then shares in foreign possessions, none. Then shares in my possession, which is one, two, three, four, five. And then the rest would go into my reserve. And then all of these ones on shares go there. It's a really nice income mechanism for how that works out. A really nice way of sort of, you know, a shares game where you have shares in other people's uh, companies. And when they get their fish income, you get some of it. Yeah, it's nicely done. So work phase. We've got these three, what were we gonna do? We can't build any more ships from this space. We could go onto the copy and action and build one, or we can also use our, you, you can use your own elders here by just putting workers on them and that uses them and then you get to do the ability again. I probably need lots of wood and if I'm gonna be building more buildings, I probably at this point want to do some deforesting. Every time I say the word deforest, I can't help thinking of um, Deforest Kelly from Star Trek. Um, so I think that's what we want, might want to do. I mean, there's the boathouse here, but that's minus one point because there's these points as well. Yeah, so other buildings, you want buildings because buildings are worth points. After you deforest, whenever you're one of your elders discards fish, residential home. Okay, that could be quite good. That's worth four points as well. Eight fish in your reserve. Yeah, probably not going to do that. That's, that's quite expensive. 
I'm probably going to do this. I'm probably going to try and build this wharf. Once your haul side reaches 10, you get a free ship. Yeah, that's, that's going to be good. That's what we want to be aiming for. So how are we going to get this wood? I think... Uh, Dimitri is saying you have to feed them. And in this case, the constructor would give you one fish back. Ah, right. You have to feed it to do the action. Right, that makes sense. You give him a fish, do the action, put the fish on there, and then I would get the fish back. Yeah. So, what to do? I think... Ah, oh, did we build another sloop? Because if I'm going for the harbour installation, I actually want lots of small ships. I don't want the big ships. So let's, let's do that. So let's go into the copy and action space and let's build a ship. Before I build the ship... I get a gold. Uh, then we're going to build a sloop, which with all of my discounts, basically... Oh, hang on. I can do that. No, I'm not going to copy the action. I am going to use the constructor. So I put the fish from there. That then clears. And I get that one back. Okay, that's how I'm going to do it. Did I spend the fish for building the sloop? I don't think I did. So I spend the fish... The sloop goes on there, and then afterwards I get two wood into the reserve. There you go. Yeah, combo. Um, right, so I did that. Now, do we want to serve fish to get golden wood? I don't think we do. I mean, I've got all of this wood, so at some point I am going to want to transfer all of this reserve into here. That's the space where I can do it, but I need to be, I need to be saving up. Um... Uh, two workers left. I don't want to do that. I could build another ship right now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's copy an action. Copy the build ship. Get a gold. Yeah, the, these buildings have come out just right. And I guess this is part of the game is when the buildings come out, spotting the combos and then doing whatever you think is best. So I spend a fish for the sloop. Now, that is all of the sloops gone. But that does get me two extra wood in two my reserve. That's a lot of wood there, but I'm going to need 10 for the harbour. I'm also going to need 5 gold for it. Um, and I want to build the wharf. Can I build the wharf? No, not just yet. I need this wood. Uh, is there any sneaky way that I can get this wood out of my reserve without going on that space? I don't think there is. No, but next turn, do I build a... No, I think I'm going to have to. So I'm going to transfer reserve. So basically all of this stuff here goes into here. So it's all mine. There we go. Elders are fed from plates. Ah, sorry for that. Slight rules mistake there. Using an elder. Using an elder, you must first take... The fish from the banquet table. Okay, so that would have actually gone from there onto the elder instead of from me. So that's that's that that's that fix. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'd forgotten that bit. Um, when you were looking the points on the building, remember that gold was worth a point anyway. Yes, yeah, every gold you have is worth a point. So I think we're done. I think that is the end of round five. So we go to round six, and the blue workers are coming back. And we're actually getting three more random sea buildings. So I'm going to put these here. The fortress. Okay. The swing net fishery. Okay, that could be worth some points to me if I'm able to build it. Problem is I'm running out of space now. And the small forest castle. Definitely want to be building the wharf and definitely want to be building the harbour installation. So at some point, I'm going to have to be clearing my board. Right, 10 fish. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So first of all, elders. One goes on there. One goes on there. Uh, next, shares in foreign possession. None. Shares in personal possession is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, and then the rest go into my reserve. Now your reserve has a maximum limit of eight. That's a shame. I should have waited and taken them out of the reserve 
at this point. Yeah, bad play. Bad play, Paul. Um, okay, work phase. Um, right. So, what are we going to do? What were we going to do? <laughs> we were going to deforest, I think. I think we were going to deforest and make some more space. Yeah, we're going to deforest. So remove this forest here uh, and get five wood. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what's the limit here? 12 wood. Ah, there's a limit of 12 wood. I'd forgotten that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I've actually wasted one. Um, but that's fine. My other option was to thin out, but actually I need the space. So yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't need this. Yeah, okay. That that is there. That's my personal supply. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Maximum of twelve wood. Okay. Um that was my first one. Second one is to build a ship. I think build a build another cutter. Oh no, it's build a building, wasn't it? Yeah, can I build the wharf? I can build the wharf. So we're gonna build a building, we're gonna build the wharf. Today is a good day to ship goods. Um so five one, two, three, four, five wood. Four fish and two gold. Uh, once your hull size equals 10, which it is, build a free schooner. Pop. There you go. And before I build a ship, I get a gold. Uh, and after I build a ship, I get two wood into my reserve. Okay, now, this is pretty much it. I've, I can't really do anything else here. This, this has reached its maximum. So I can't have any more ships. So I just need to now build the harbour installation at some point before the end of the game, uh, which means I need some more wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm going to need three more wood, um, which I can get quite easily. And then I just need five gold. Okay. Um, and then, then what am I thinking? I need to build some more buildings. So that's going to be built. Um, I could build a retirement home. The retirement home is actually worth seven points to me, but it costs seven gold to build it. But I immediately get one gold per elder. So effectively, that's a two point swing. It's not very much, is it? Um, what else have we got? What else have we got that's worth points? Uh, lighthouse, no, dairy. Okay, well it's two fish and two wood for two points. I want buildings that aren't really going to... Oh, this would be good. If I could build this, if I could get the fish for this, that's going to get me five points. Okay, so these are the two that I've got my eye on. Is the swing net fishery and the harbour installation. If I can build both of those, that's going to be a lot of points, but that's going to require 10 wood and 12 fish. I think we might be able to do this. Uh, remember to take fish shares off the company. Oh yeah, I forgot that. These are mine. Thank you. So we've got, I mean, we're on round six. I've only got four actions left in the game. Am I going to be able to get any more fish? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's the ten fish. I need twelve. I'm going to have twelve next round. Um, I think this might work. I mean, I don't want to serve fish because I don't need... No, I, I want to keep the fish. So the plan now is to build two buildings. This is my plan. Which means I need 10 wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can get the 10 wood. Yeah, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I am going to... What am I going to do? Ah, oh, there's this one. There's the pond builder as well. I mean, do elders get your points? Elders don't get your points. But they allow you to use more of your fish. Distribute four fish plus one fish per building. That's just that's just extra fish. It's the wood that I need. Hmm. 
Forest manager could be good. Remove two forests, but I should have done that before. I should have done that instead of deforesting. Because then, remove two forests and get five wood and one gold. Yeah, so if I could a quick undo, instead of doing the deforest to remove that and get five wood. Oh no, you can't. I can't. There needs to be fish on there to do that. So forget the elders, no undos. I'm going to thin out. So I get three wood, but actually, yeah, that puts me at my maximum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're done. That is the end of round six. We move to round seven. The red workers come back. And this time we get 12 fish. There is no fish on plates. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12 lovely fishes. Okay, so one goes on this elder, which clears it, and I get the fish. One goes on this elder. Five go on here. I'll just put them there. Okay, and the rest go in my reserve. Is there space in my reserve? Because you can have a maximum of eight fish. Yes, there is. So that goes in there. I then get these. Okay, and here we go. Build a building. Uh, and I spend... Oh, I don't have the gold. <laughs> I've just realised harbour installation costs five gold. I don't have the gold. Oh, no, 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 no. Plan fallen to pieces. Hmm, rats. Rats, rats, rats. How can I get two gold? I can serve fish. I'm going to have to serve fish, which means I'm probably not going to be buying the swing net fishery after all. Oh. So I'm going to use... Oh, and I can't use the sailor because you have to feed it from here. Mm, I remember now. Yeah, the combo, the sailor. You can't use the sailor to serve fish or if there isn't any on here. Wow. I've messed that up, haven't I? That's why you told me to serve fish. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I should have listened. Um, as I say, very rusty on the game, not played it in a couple of years, is my excuse. So we're going to serve fish. Uh, now I don't need to serve that many, but if I'm not going to be building the swing net fishery, I might as well serve as many as I can. So how many is this? I mean, it's going to be quite a lot of gold, this. So two on there, three on there, three on there. Not enough to put on there. Okay, so uh, that is four gold for me. Uh, is there fives? Yeah, there is a five. There you go. So that was my first action. Second action is build a building, build the harbour installation. That's going to go there. That cost me ten wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten wood, five gold. Harbour installation has been built. I have one action left. What can I do? One fish escaped to the main board. Did it? Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's probably mine. Um, so one action left. What can I do? I'd like to build another building just to clear, just to fill this space. But what have I got that I can build that doesn't require wood? Uh, the wood trade building. Costs two fish and a gold. Actually, that's really good. Because that's going to net me two points. Yep. So we'll go on to the copy and action. And we'll copy the build a building action. And we're going to take this and we're going to put it there. And that cost me two fish and a gold. And I believe that is the end of the game. Scott says I could have served another plate. Oh, I could have served another plate because one fish escaped. Yeah, but that would have just got me one gold and then I wouldn't have had enough to build what I've just built. So actually that's worked out quite well. Uh, and there we go. I think that is it. It is time to add up the points. Okay. Um, I think we just add up the points based on what's, what, what we can see here. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then the harbour race installation is 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 30, 32. I think it's 32. Oh, plus these, 
32, that's 37, plus 1, 38. That's not bad. Oh, you must serve all if you can. Oh, I didn't realise that. I'm going to have to undo this, aren't I? I can undo it. That is a, that is a, that is a shame. That is a real shame. Serve fish. Um, as many plates as you like. No, it says here, as many fish as you like, but at least one. So yeah, you don't have to. There you go. Right, so I think we're done. What was it, 38? Yeah, remind me in the chat how many I've scored, and somebody write it down somewhere. But that, I think, is not bad for a first game. And that is where we're going to finish the first game, and we're going to move on to the second game. So, for the second game, let's, let's reset things. Uh, we need to put these elders back. So that's elder number two, that's elder number five. We need to take these workers back. We're going to play the advanced game. Um, put these back. I uh, need to clear all of this. And I'm going to put one fish on the serving plate. Okay, and we're going to get rid of all of these buildings because remember, these are from the herring deck. So no more herrings. They can all go. And we are now going to play with mackerel, I believe. So we have the A's, we have the B's, and we have the C's ready for the mackerel. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to put another forest back on here. Uh, 38, yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad score. That goes on there, that goes on there, that's been reset. Haven't got those fish. Okay, so in the advanced solo mode, I need, uh, it's basically, it's a harder game. Three rows, you will alternate controlling red, blue, and yellow workers. Uh, turn the imitation tile to the five player game side, so in showing three action spaces. Right, okay, so this, there you go. So actions can be copied multiple times. That that there copies any action from this column, that there copies any action from this column, and that there copies any action from this column. I need to get the yellow workers out of here. One, two, three. It's a bit, a bit too much shadow. There you go. Uh, let's just get my chameleon to join me. There you go. You just on camera. Where are you going to go? You're going to go there. There you go. He doesn't sit up right. <laughs> there you go. Right. There you go. Hans is here. Hi, Hans. Thank you for joining in. We're just about to start game two. So we're playing the advanced solo mode now. And it's going to be red, then blue, then yellow. Right. Off we go. So let's shuffle some mackerel. You don't often hear that phrase being said. How big is the play area? Um, well, there's my hand. So, yeah, hopefully that will tell you how big the play area is. I haven't got a ruler with me, so I can't quite measure it. Okay, we're going to zoom in on the buildings. And we have the forest of, Forester's Cottage. So immediately add one forest to each forested double space. Okay, now I didn't do much foresting in the last game. The Logger's Pond after each turn in which you remove one or two forests, get two fish, and that's free to build. The bird colony is also free to build and gets you three gold, but is minus two points. Uh, Labour square, after you issue a share, convert a gold into three wood and four fish. Mm -hmm. Rigging workshop, after you build a ship, put a gold in your reserve. After you reforest, deforest, the cold storage, elders with three fish, one fish goes to your supply, one to the general supply, and leave one on the elder. Okay. Youth centre, after each round in which you did not use an elder, get a gold. Okay. And the fish trade, at any time within your reserve, three fish for a gold. Right, that's the A cards. Now we do the Bs. And again, the C's are going to come out in rounds four and round six. So we have the residence. 
uh, the whaling station, smoking cottage, is that a smoking cottage or a smoking cottage? The playhouse, a little bit like the theatre, manufacture, and the ranger's office. So let's have a look at these. Immediately, get a wood and a fish per elder. Once your hall size is 12, get four gold. That's going to be worth 11 points, but it costs money based on the round number. Smoking cottage, immediately fill up wood in your reserve to match the amount of fish. Okay, manufacture at any time, convert a wood into a fish or three fish into two wood. And the ranger's office, before you thin out, plus one forest on a forested double space. Okay, so what combos have you spotted? Scott is saying there's some wood synergy going on. Yeah, so there's after you reforest, deforest. There is before you thin out, get a forest on a, on a forested double space. Where was the other one? Um, forester's cottage, immediately add a forest to each forested double space. So I could just go for lots and lots of wood, but what good is that? What good is the wood? Uh, I guess for the smoke uh, for the manufacturer, I can convert the wood into fish. Hmm. Oh, and the loggers pond. After each turn in which you remove one or two forests, get two fish. What do you think? Why won't you sit up straight? There you go. Right, never seems to sit up straight. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? And remember, this is going to be a harder game because we're using red, then blue, then yellow. Any thoughts in the chat over what strategy you think I should go with? I'm probably not going to go with ship building because almost nothing is related to ships apart from maybe the rigging workshop. And I want to do something a little different in this game. I don't just want to do the same thing every time. Um, obviously, the elders are the same. So, well, let, let's, let's do the fish to start with. So it's three fish, uh, one goes on there, one goes on there, one goes on there, and then I get those two. That's, that is the start. But yeah, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What buildings are we gonna take? What elders are we gonna go with? Um, I mean, we could go for Labourer Square early, because then, we, then when we start issuing shares, we basically get extra, st we can convert gold into wood and fish. That seems quite good in a way, but again, because we don't know what the sea buildings are, we're just guessing. We're literally just guessing because we've no idea what's going to come out in here. Uh, no answers in the chat telling me what to do. So down to me. Okay, well, let, let's do that. Let's build a building and let's spend a fish and build Labourer Square. It's my first action. Then we're going to issue a share. So we're going to issue this share. That goes there. Uh, it gets two gold. And then after you issue a share, I can spend one gold to get three wood and four fish. Now I say I'm not going to build boats. I might still want to because boats are good because boats get you up on this fish track here. Um, wood is needed for buildings and ships and you convert it into fish and gold. Oh, Rene's here. Hi, Rene. Yeah, go with the wood synergy building, says Scott. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, so, do we take the sailor early on? What we're going to do is the third action. Do we build another building? Ooh. Do we build the forester's cottage? Immediately add one forest to each forested double space. Hmm. Before you thin out. Can I can I do that? I can't afford the ranger's office. Or office? Office. Um I think I might go for the playhouse. If we can just absolutely max out fish early on i mean i could issue another share i think I, I think i can copy my own action in the solo game 
Uh, Rene's never played this game, so I can't give advice. That's, for, that's fine. Uh, you're, hopefully you're seeing how the solo game plays. But I think, here's a rules question for those people who have played it. Can you copy your own action? I think you can. Um, the copy and action space allows you to copy uh, an action, any blocked action, occupied by at most one worker. Blocked action space, the color of the blocking worker does not matter. Yeah, so you can. I can do it again. Let's do that. I'm going to issue a second share. So I'm going to copy my own action. I'm going to issue this share, which goes there. I get two gold, and then I'm going to spend one of that two gold using my laborer square to get three wood and four fish. One, two, three, four. Three wood. There you go. Round one is over. We go to round two, fishing phase. I'm still only getting three, but unfortunately, uh, maybe I didn't want to do that. Never mind. Uh, shares in foreign possession, get them first, and then the one in my possession. So I, I only get one, and those disappear. Okay, right. So we're now placing the blue workers. Um, let's stack those up. Okay, what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to build some more buildings, aren't we? Yes. Which one do we want to build? Do we want to build the forester's cottage? Uh, I think I want to build the logger's pond. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got to remember that removing a forest actually gets five wood. Um... So I probably want to spend some wood first. Yeah, let's do it. Right, I'm going to build a building. We're going to build the forester's cottage. So that goes there. That costs me two wood and a fish. And immediately adds one forest to each forested double space. So I only have one forested double space. So we get another forest and put it on there like that. Okay, then... I am going to copy that action and I'm going to build a building and I'm going to build the loggers pond, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to build the loggers pond. Okay, after each turn in which you remove one or two forests, get two fish. So then, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to deforest Kelly. Um, Remove one forest to get five wood. So that's going to be this one to get five wood. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so at the end of the turn in which I remove one or two forests, I get two fish. There you go. Right, that is the end of round two. We go to round three, and now we're placing the yellow workers. Right, this is where it's getting tight, because look at all of those spaces that I can't use. Um, I think we're going to have to go down the elder route now. We're going to have to take an elder. Uh, we're going to take the sailor. The sailor goes on here using the fish from here, and now I can serve fish. So, I have lots of fish. Here we go. How many do I want to give away? This is the question. Am I going to be able to build a ship? Yes. Am I going to be able to build a schooner? Oh, I totally could. I've just noticed. Okay, well, let's have a think about this. Is that going to leave me with enough? No, it's not. Do I want to build a schooner or do I want to build a cutter? Hmm. Cutter's going to get me six income, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I think we're going to build, ooh, yeah, I think we'll do this. So then I'm going to put another four, no, another three there. Okay, so I've used the sailor, took the fish off there, served fish, done. Uh, I have three forested double spaces. Oh, all three. Immediately add one forest to each forested double space. Ah, so, yeah, sorry, that's a double space. Right, you're right. 
So that Forester's Cottage should have actually added them to there. Oh gosh. Right, lots and lots of forests now. Wow, yes. Okay, so all sorted. Thank you very much for that. Um, and I'm doing this to get four gold. One, two, three, four. Smallest gold coins ever. One, two, three, four. Uh, so that is the plates filled. Okay, right, that's that done. Um, then we're going to build a ship and we're going to build for six wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one gold. We're going to build a cutter. That goes there. That's going to increase my income. Uh, we can't issue a share. I could buy the other shares. We could copy an action. We could build another boat. We could build a sloop. We could thin out. We can't take, oh, we could take another elder. Let's take, oh, yeah, let's take another elder. So I'm going to copy an action. I'm going to take this action, the forest manager. That's going to go here. It's going to be fed f with this fish. And then I get to remove two forests for five wood and one gold. And I'm going to remove these two forests here. So that goes, I get five wood. Can I have five wood? I can have five wood and one gold. I'm going to take five wood. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So we have eight wood now. This is going all right, he says. Got to beat 38. <laughs> I might not, because this is a harder difficulty setting. Uh, but I think, I think that is it done. I think that is my three workers placed. So at the end of the turn, in which I removed one or two forests, which I did, I get two fish. Michael's just jumped in. Hi, Michael. Thank you for joining in. Uh, we are on part two. Oh, remember, you can buy schooners with gold. I had forgotten about that completely. Yes, I had totally forgotten about that. You can actually just buy them outright for four gold. And because they're worth four points, you might as well always do that. Because unless you need the gold for something else. Now, if I was to buy that schooner now, that's actually going to give me an extra two fish. And it's, mm, yeah, go on, let's do it. Thank you for that. One, two, three, four. Four gold to buy a schooner. I had forgotten that rule. There we go. Right, we are moving on to round four, and this is where we get the random sea cards. So we're getting four random sea cards in the display. One, two, three, four. And we have, am I going to get lucky? We have the renting service. Three points plus one point per ship on the supply board. That's here. And there's one, two, three, four, five, there's seven there. That's, that's 10 points. If I can build this building, that's 10 points. The chancellery, uh, eight points if you have four or more elders. Okay, potentially. The longhouse, uh, at game end, no victory points for issued shares in your supply. Okay, so it's worth six, but you don't actually get these. Now, this might be okay if I decide that I'm not going to buy those shares back. I could take that and it's actually worth a net four points for six wood. It's pretty good. And the inshore fishery, five points if you have four or more sloops and or cutters. Not going to bother with that at all. Um, okay, right. So red workers come back. One, two, three. And off we go. What are we going to buy? What are we going to do? What is our plan? Um, hmm. I'm kind of looking at the playhouse because it's 11 points. <laughs> but we are on round four. And I don't have the fish for it now. Um, we did have this. Oh, after you reforest, deforest. Okay, let, let's aim for the end of the game. Let's aim for the renting service and not buy any more ships. So I'm going to need six wood, six fish and three gold. I've almost got that now. So we also, we're going to try and go for the longhouse. Well, we, we can build the longhouse. We can do it right now, actually. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to issue a share. 
I'm going to issue my third and final. Oh, I didn't do the fishing. Fishing. Chat has probably said, don't do the fishing. Um, I need to take the action to buy the schooner. Oh, OK. Sorry. OK, so I can't do that. Ignore that. That didn't happen. You can't just buy it outright like you can in um, Feast Roading. You have to take the action to do it. Thank you. OK, undid that. Uh, Michael is asking, how does the solo mode work? Is it beat your previous score? It's basically, yeah, it score as many points as you can and it suggests 30 to 40 is good. Um, it'd be nice if we had a bit of a sliding scale, but yeah, it's all right. I'm enjoying it anyway. Um, right, so fishing phase, it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one on that elder, one on that elder, uh, two on the shares up there, which disappear and two on the shares here, which I get. Right, that's the fishing phase done. So now, what were we gonna do? We were doing something. Issuing a share, that's what we were doing. We were gonna issue a share, I'm gonna get rid of this third and final share to get two gold, but then, so before that, <laughs> just before that, hang on, I'm gonna build a building. I'm going to build the longhouse for six wood. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then I'm issuing the share. Uh, did I take the two gold? No, I didn't take the two gold. So I take the two gold, but then I spend one of it uh, to get three wood and four fish. Let me know if I accidentally already took the gold for that. Because I just did a quick undo and I can't remember um, yeah, whether I did that or not. I think that's right. Not 100% sure. I might have one gold too many. So we've done that. So I'm not going to buy my own shares back. It does mean that because my shares are all occupied, are all owned by somebody else, that's going to reduce the amount of income that I'm getting. But let's let's go with it. I need some more wood to build the renting service. Uh, what do I want to do here? Do we want to remove a forest in order to get two fish? I think we do. Yeah, copy an action, deforest. Remove this. Oh, I'm just thinking I should use that. I have to remove two forests. No, I'm just going to remove one. Just going to remove one. So I've removed a forest. I get five wood and a gold. So five, one, five wood and a gold. Uh, and then at the end of the turn, which is we, we are, I get two fish because of my loggers pond. Right, there you go. That is the end of turn four. Turn five, blue workers come back. I'm going to get to place them in a minute. And then we distribute fish. So it's six. One onto this elder, one onto this elder. They are now at three. So I get that fish. This goes back into the supply. Three goes onto shares owned by somebody else. And one, one goes onto there. There you go. That's the fishing phase done. Now I get to place these. Right, it's all starting to come together. I can build this now. but I'm looking at other ones that I can also build. Because I was looking at this manufacturer, wasn't I? Because that's gonna get me lots of, I was also looking at the playhouse. There's a, there's a, there's a lot here. There's a lot of choices, there's a lot of options. And I'm, there's gonna be three more buildings coming out soon. I'm not gonna bother with that one at all. I could do that, but that means having more elders. I certainly can't get any more elders this turn. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think let's just build another building and let's build the renting service. So that's six wood, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six fish. One, two, three, four, five, six and three gold, one, two, three. Okay, happy with that. That's a lot of points at the end. Uh, 
anything else. We could reforest and deforest again. We could use the sailor. That will get me a lot more gold. We could use the forest manager. Um, but I'm going to have to build a lot of buildings to do that. But that is going to get me a lot of wood. Okay, let's do it. Let's go crazy. So I'm going to use the forest manager, taking the fish from here and putting it on here. Remove these two forests uh, to get... I'm just going to slide that up. Five wood and one gold. So my wood supply is back to nine and a gold. Um, Tom's here. Hi, Tom. Thank you for joining in. Yes, we're coming to the end of game two, but there's going to be three games today. So you've got one more to look forward to. Um, so I did that. I did that. did that. Then we're going to do the sailor. Or do we do... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of don't want to do any of those things up there. We could build another building. Um, and the manufacturer is actually quite good in terms of points. So yeah, let's copy an action and let's copy the builder building and let's buy the manufacturer. So that's going to go there. That's going to cost me four wood. One, two, three, four. Three fish. One, two, three. And a gold. There you go. Um... So that's the three actions done. That is the end of round five. Did I deforest this turn? I did, which means I get two fish for my loggers pond. And we now got onto round six. The yellow workers come back and we get three more random sea buildings. We have the bank center. Okay, that's no good for me. We have the market tower. Okay, so end of the game, one point for each set of fish, wood and gold in your supply. Ooh, that might be quite nice. And the fish house, which is seven points and it costs haul size plus another player's haul size. Now, I don't know how, how that works in the solo game because there isn't another player. Um, fish house, appendix. Fish house, where is it? Fish house, here we go. In solo game, only your hall size counts. The fish house has no effect. Right, so it's basically going to cost me six fish to get seven points. That's pretty good as well. That is pretty good. Um, so yeah, we're playing the advanced solo mode for this game where there's three sets of workers. The normal solo game is two sets of workers, like, as Scott says, like Feast for Odin. But yeah, the advanced game is three sets of workers, which makes it even trickier. But are we going to go with elders? Are we going to go... Uh, right, oh, there's so many, too many choices now. And I only have six actions left. And I want to spend three of them on building buildings. So I can't build any buildings this turn. So I can't build all of the buildings. No. Because of the way that these have lined up, I can only build. Next turn, I'm going to get my red workers back. Oh, I can only build one more building. Oh, well, I've messed that up, haven't I? So after all this... Oh, no, I could. I could use the constructor. So I could build three buildings. Yeah. Because I take the constructor and then I use the constructor. And that would work. Yeah, that would very much work. Okay, so let's, let's work out what the three buildings I'm going to build are. No, no. I'm just going to move these. I'm going to move the ones that I'm not going to build off. These are definite no's. Definite no's. No, 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 uh, no. Possibly. No. No. Okay, so we're down to these. 
Now out of these, the Chancellery is only good if I'm going to get a fourth Elder, which I don't think I'm going to get a fourth Elder. I think I'm only going to get three Elders, so we're going to get rid of that one. The Fish House, we could build the Fish House. That's going to cost me six fish, four wood, and he's going to get me seven points. That's pretty good. So we're definitely building that one. So let's do that first. Let's go here to take an Elder. We're going to take the Constructor, which is going to go there. I need to feed him with this. And then I get to build a building and I'm building the fish house, which goes there, which costs four wood and six fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, right. That was my first thing that I've done. The second thing, am I going to be able to build any more buildings this turn? Yeah, I mean, I could build the market tower, but I really don't have much left now. So <laughs> the market tower that's going to get me points for sets of stuff at the end is actually no good at all. No good at all. I mean, the pond builder is pretty awesome. The sale is not great. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to score as much in this game. Any suggestions? Do we try and go for the playhouse? I mean, there's no way I can get 15 fish at this point, is there? Um, yeah. So the residence, it cost me three points to get four. Well, five, because I'm covering up a minus one space. So that's a net change of two points. Um, and it gets me wooden fish per elder, which would get me three wooden three fish. Which actually for the market tower might then be worth it. Yeah, my other options are actually quite limited. So I can't reforest now. Oh, I should have put that there. That's what I should have done. So I, I could reforest. I could put two forests on there. And then I could deforest and that gets me five wood but then i've only got two actions left next turn um i mean i discarded this but actually i could get a fourth elder and we could distribute the fish but then i'm going to have to take an action to put the fish into the reserve yeah i don't think that's going to work is it Okay, so we just need a way of getting fish. Fish and wood is what we need to do. Um, because I'm going to build twice next turn, which is going to be um, that one and that one. So could I build one of those this turn? Yeah, I can. But then I can't take a fourth... Okay, I think I'm overthinking this. But I just need to be very careful. Because if I remove the last one from here, I can't then use any of my elders until there's more fish on there, which is going to be another action to do it. Did you discount any buildings worth points? Um, that's a very good point, actually. Some of these, I, I, yeah, I discarded them because I wasn't going to use their effect. But actually, the smoking cottage is a nice, simple one wood, which is going to be effectively two points. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, yeah, so I might keep a couple of these on. I don't want the bird colony because that's minus two points. OK, right. I think we're going to use the constructor. So that's going to use this last fish, that's going to go on there, and I'm going to build the market tower. Is that the one I was going to do? I think it was going to be the market tower. Yeah, let's do the market tower. Okay, that goes there, that's going to cost me two gold. Right, and now I just need sets of stuff. 
but the best way of getting wood is actually to deforest and I don't want to deforest because then I will not have many points. Uh, well, I'll then lose the points for this. Um, but actually, I might get back more points. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to do it. I'm going to deforest the last space. So there you go. That has been deforested. I get five wood. One, two, three, four, five. And because of my loggers pond, I get two fish at the end of the turn. Right. That is the end of round six. We move to round seven. The red workers come back. One, two, three. And I'm going to be distributing six fish. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so one goes on this elder, one goes on this elder, one goes on this elder, which comes to me. Those two go back to the supply. I have three left, which all go to there. Unfortunately, I don't get any of these because these are issued. They are foreign shares. Right, worker phase, or the work phase. Um, I have these. So we're going to build a building. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to build a building and we're just going to build the smoking cottage. So yeah, thank you to Michelle for reminding me that I could have actually just put these put these in. There you go. So that costs one wood. Um, and he's actually going to cover up a space. So that's okay. We're then going to go here, believe it or not. I was about to go for the one gold, but actually I'm looking at the serving fish. No, because I need... Yeah, no, I think... Oh. How can I get fish? How can I get fish? I can. I can take the pond builder. That's going to get... Oh, is this going to work out? I think this might work out. If, if I take a gold, I'll have four gold, which means I'll have four sets at the end. If instead I serve fish, I'll do that to get rid of two gold. And then that will go on there. And then with my third action, I'll get an elder and I'll get the pond builder and I will get two fish back, which is four. So it, it's four either way in terms of sets, but this is actually better in terms of gold. Yeah, okay, so I think this is right. I serve fish. I'm going to put that one on there and those two on there. That gets me two gold. And then with my third and final action, we're going to copy an action. We're going to take an elder. We're going to take the pond builder by putting this fish on there. So I distribute four fish plus one fish per building. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm distributing 13 fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It doesn't really matter because... Oh, no, it does. I'm all right. Yeah. So one goes on there. I'd forgotten this one. One goes on there, which clears that, and I get one. Awesome. One goes on there. One goes on there. Three go to the foreign shares. Two go to my shares. And then the other five go in there. And that is the end of the game Let's tot up the points and see how we've done. See how we've done compared to the previous score. So we are on six, but then these are not worth anything. But that's fine. Okay. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 24. Uh, I have five sets now. Yeah, so 24, 29, 30, 34, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 39, 41. I think that's, oh no, minus 2. So 39. There you go. I beat my previous score. Scott says 38. Yeah, 38 for the first game, 39 for the second game. Awesome. I think we've done it correctly. I think we've added up the scores correctly. So there you go. Second game, 39. Right, off we go. Let's clear up and we're going to go for game number three. How are we doing for time? It is half 11. 
Okay, so I have Gloomhaven Digital part 16 at one o'clock today. So I will get this done in time. I'll probably be done with this by 12. That gives me a little bit of time to get something to eat, do some rule book work, and then, yeah, Gloomhaven Digital at one o'clock. So, excellent. Thank you very much for joining me today. This is good fun. Uh, if you are joining in late, just as I mentioned at the start, uh, this video and a lot of the other content that I'm making is purely funded through my Patreon campaign. This is not a sponsored video. So if you like the content that I make and you want to support me and see more videos, yeah, please consider supporting me over on patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Uh, and I've also turned on advertising recently and all money is being given to charity. So uh, if you get annoyed by the adverts that appear at the start of the YouTube videos, then as long as you are aware, any money made from that is being given to um uh, Doctors Without Borders at the moment for the work that they're doing. Right, okay, so we're going to clear off these. This is, that was the mackerel deck. And we're now going to use the cod deck. Get my shares back. Two, three, get those back. We'll play the advanced game again. These disappear. Uh, all of this disappears. And we have one fish on there. Right, okay, so that needs to go back there. Uh, and as I mentioned at the start, I'm going to be playing game three with my house rule. So as you probably guessed from the two previous games, the C cards come out on round four and round six. And the C cards, you can be lucky and you can get ones that fit with what you were doing and are therefore really good for you. Or you can get ones that are bad for you. Um, now, the way that this works in the multiplayer game is, is slightly different from this. What happens in the multiplayer game is that in round four, you will draw some C cards into your hand. And then in round six, the C cards are then placed into the display. So you've got a little bit of advance notice of what cards might be in the game. Um, I just don't like that rule at all. I've played this a number of times where... Um, it's basically, it's down to the look of the C cards and oh, look, you managed to draw one that absolutely fit with exactly what you were doing anyway. And therefore you can play it and get a whole bunch of points or you've managed to draw the one that's really good for me. Um, oh, unfortunately, none of them have come out for the strategy that you've chosen. It just seems really odd. And I know a lot of people disagree with me, but what I'm gonna do is I am actually gonna reveal uh, all of the C cards at the start of the game. OK, so that I know what's in the game. I know what I can be aiming for. I can't build them. So the first four that get revealed, I can't build until round four. And the next three that get revealed, I can't build until round six. So I'm not changing when they can be built. I'm just changing when they're there so that I can actually look ahead of time and see what's going on. Right. I just need to divide these cards up. Um, so there you go. That's what my house rule is. But I didn't want to use my house rule for the first two games of today. Um, yeah. but I do want to use it at least once just so people see what it's like and then afterwards if you if you like it you can use it if you don't like it you don't have to use it it's it's completely your choice it's I mean sometimes games have house rules which actually fix problems with the game um, this for me is just it, it it makes the game more enjoyable for me to play I'm not fixing any problem with the game apart from as I say it can be a bit uh, a little bit look based about whether you with whether you get the right C cards or not. Like in the first game, we got the card that came out, which gave you lots of points for shipbuilding. If we'd have chosen a shipbuilding strategy and then that card didn't come out, it's like, oh, well, you know. OK, so let's have a look at what cards we're going to have for game three. So this is using the COD deck. OK, these are COD, believe it or not. So we have the office. I don't even know if I've played with the COD deck. So immediately as a single action, issue two shares and get three gold. Okay. Cooling house, immediately double the fish in your reserve. Oh, ignoring the limit. I've not really used the reserve much. Holding company, place gold that you use to pay for your shares into your reserve. Oh, refuge. After you've reforest, get some gold and some wood. Didn't really do much reforesting then, did I? After you build a building, Gold if you have two or work workers on the builder building action space. Okay, don't know how that works in solo. Hide away, immediately remove all forests but one and get one wood and fish for each. 
Collection point. Immediately, one wood on each free building space. Take wood from space when you use it. Okay. Wood carver. Before you use an elder, get a wood. And forestry. Whenever you use a forest action, additionally, one gold into your reserve. So there's a few cards here which are all to do with the reserve. Right, let's have a look at the B cards now. Yes, I'm fiddling around with the colours again. Uh, right, so the B cards. We have customs area. So the cost to build that is a sloop. Immediately, one wood, one fish, and one gold in both your supply and your reserve. Okay. Uh, the Rathskeller, get one gold per fish on your elders. Ooh. Stock fishery, anytime spend a wood and a fish for a gold. Uh, sorry, a wood and three fish for one gold. And they need a lot of fish for that. Villa, five, seven, or nine points if the villa is orthogonally adjacent to two, three, or five forests. Oh, we could try and do that and not build many buildings. Boat Hall costs four wood and a cutter, but you get a sloop. Oh, you get two free sloops, okay. And the Harbour Park, once you have three elders, you get three wood and two gold into your reserve. Right, okay. And as I say, here are the C cards. Uh, I assume that when you use an elder for an action, you must feed a fish. Yes, you must feed it from here, not from here. That's the tricky thing with the elders. You've got to have fish on the banquet table. Okay, I'm just going to slide this to the left. There we go. Right, okay, so the four C cards which I can build from round four. We have a dock. Seven points if you have three ships of the same type. And this is exactly why I have this house rule. Because I'd want to know that that card was coming at the start of the game. Otherwise, you're just taking a gamble. Fishery. Seven points if you have exactly two sloops, two cutters, and a schooner. Okay, so that's not going to work with the dock. The church, nine points if the church is surrounded by five or more buildings. And the carver, uh, one point per building showing a wood cost. Okay, so again, can't build them yet. Three cards coming out in round six are Le Bank. Your negative VPs are doubled, so it's, it costs 10 gold to build. It's worth 15 points, but all of your negative points are doubled. Ouch. Extension. Three points if the extension is orthogonally adjacent to three or more buildings. And the Codfish Farm. Eight points if you have 20 fish in your supply and reserve. Well, I think I'm going to try for that. And that's the thing. I want to know that that card is there. Right, here we go. I'm quite excited. I'm quite looking forward to this. I need a drink. Right, round one, game three. Let's distribute some fish. So it's basically, I get two. Is how it works, because there's none on any elders, none on shares up there, and then one goes in my reserve. Okay. Right, actions. What are we going to do? What are we going to do indeed? I probably want more fish before I take the sailor. Oh, forests. I haven't got any forests. You got double one there, one there, oh sorry, two there, one there and one there. They're not, they're, they're all doubles. Right, there's a lot of build buildings with wood costs. Yes, um, because where was the card? Here, the carver. One victory point at the end of the game per building that shows a wood cost. Now remember, if it's greyed out, that isn't one. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few. So I quite like the holding company. I like, I, I like the idea of the holding company that the gold that I use to pay for shares goes into my reserve. And then at some point in the game, I'll do the transfer reserve and I'll transfer it out might decide to go with that. The other option is that I, I... 
I think we're going to go with the codfish farm. We're going to try and go for the codfish farm as a strategy and possibly even the bank, possibly even the carver as well. Um, but we also have the church, which could be worth a lot of points if we surround it by buildings. If we put the church in the middle and put one, I assume it means, yeah, not orthogonally. So that's just surrounded. So yeah, that, that could be quite easy to do. Um, so if we go with not issuing shares at the start, why have I, oh yeah, um, and go with the holding company first, I need, I need the wood and the two gold. How do I get, well, the wood I can, I can deforest. That's quite easy. Reforesting, uh, no, getting the gold, that's the tricky bit. How am I going to get the gold to pay for the holding company? I mean, I, I could issue a share first. I won that card from the last one. That was quite good. Now, what we've not used is we've not used the contractor yet. And underneath it is the builder. Remove one forest to get a wood and afterward build a building. Yeah, OK. Hmm. What should I take? What should I take? Uh, Joseph is here. Too many buildings to choose from. That's the very reason you sold Caverna. Yeah, in this game, you don't you don't see all of them, though. <laughs> so there is variability. But yeah, there's there's quite a few buildings. I mean, it's like uh, Feast for Odin, where there's like 63 different action spaces. It's just it just gives you so much choice in the game. But I love it. Hmm. I'm not sure what my best opening move is. Because before I've been issuing shares to get the gold early on. I mean, I could thin out. I I could I could thin out and. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Before you use an elder, get one wood. Yeah. Okay. We could go heavily onto reforesting and foresting again. We just don't want to get stuck in it. What? And then, and then build the villa. We could go with the villa rather than the church. So nine points if it's adjacent to five forests. So if it was there, that would be one or orthogonally adjacent to five forests. How can you get the villa orthogonally adjacent to five forests? That's not possible. Villa. Count the number of forests that are orthogonally adjacent to the villa. Every single forest counts, even if stacked together. Ah, that's how you do it. Right, you have stacked ones. Um, yeah, there's the space to get gold, or I can serve fish to get gold. Yeah, I kind of don't want to serve fish just yet, because I'd only get, I'd only get one gold and one wood. This is tricky. This is tricky. And I kind of want to do something different from what I've done in the previous games. Um, and I'm looking at the forestry as well. Every time you use the forest action, I get, get one gold into your reserve. Um, let's just check the forestry. Let's just see if it is what I think it is. Forestry, forest, foresters, forestry. Uh, each time you use the deforest, thin out, or reforest action space with a worker, this does not apply when you take the. It does not apply when you take that without placing a worker on the space. So it doesn't happen with the elder. Right, didn't think so. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do something a bit different. I said it'd be done by twelve. Probably won't be at this point. So we're going to reforest. First thing we're going to do is we're going to reforest and we're going to put two forests on a free double forest space, on a, on a free double space. So that's going to go there. Then we're going to thin out, which means I get one, two, three, four, I get six wood. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Then
I am thinking. I am thinking. I'm going to build a building. I'm going to spend one fish and one wood and we're going to build the refuge. So from now on, every time I reforest, I get a golden two wood. Okay, there you go, turn one. Round one is done. We now go on to round two. Uh, and we are distributing three fish again, which is again, yeah, it's two in there and one on there. Okay, this isn't going to work at all, is it? No, this is going to be a terrible, terrible game. Um, <laughs> I can feel it now. So, at this point, we are going to choose the take an elder. We're going to take the sailor. That goes there with a fish on it. And then I serve fish. I serve these three fish. One goes on there, two goes on there. That gets me two gold and two wood. Okay. But I don't have any fish. That's the problem. I now don't have any fish. But now I'm going to choose the copy and action. And we're going to take another elder. We're going to take the forest manager. That's going to go on there. I can remove two forests to get five wood. Oh, no, 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 hang on, hang on. You can, you're, only, you're limited to 12 wood, so don't want to do that just yet. I need to spend some of this wood first. Cod deck is much tougher, yes. Uh, Michael's not familiar with the villa. It's basically, it's going to be worth lots of points at the end of the game if it's surrounded by forests. So that's... That's sort of a plan that I have. It's not a very good plan. Um, let's build a ship. So building a ship, that's going here. So it's going to cost me six wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one gold. Then we're going to copy an action and we're going to take an elder, which is going to be the forest manager. So that goes there, that goes there. Remove two forests. Uh, get five wood. One, two, three, four, five. And one gold. Okay, there you go. Round three. I'm now distributing six fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one goes on this elder. One goes on that elder. Uh, shares, foreign shares, no foreign shares. Two on my shares, and then two in my reserve. I've not issued any shares yet. I was going to build the holding company, wasn't I? Which I now can. Right, so round three, we're going to build a building, and we're going to build the holding company, which goes here. That costs three wood and two gold. Okay, then we're going to issue a share, because the gold that I get... Oh no, place gold that you use to pay for your shares into your reserve. That's not what I thought it was. That's not what I thought it was. It's when you buy shares. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine, I think. Is it fine? No, I don't want to do that. No. We're not going to do that. Check. Let's, let's, let's go back again. I still might issue the share. Oh, yeah. Thinking about this. I, I did all that wrong. I should have issued shares at the start. I was think for some reason, I thought you had to. Yeah, no, I know. I got the whole issuing shares, buying shares and paying for shares the wrong way around in my head. Um, so, yeah, do we do we want to do that or are we going to go with a, a game where I don't? The problem is. If you keep these unissued shares, you'll have negative points at the end of the game. But we, we could try that as a crazy strategy. Um, but then you're short on gold. That's the problem. Uh, there is the office, which is quite cool. Um, issue two shares receiving three gold. Eh, different. Um... The forestry is what I wanted. Yeah, we definitely wanted the forestry. 
I wanted that before I did that. Oh, I've done this in the wrong order. Yeah, I did mean to take the forestry early. Oh, I've messed this up. I also wanted that. Yeah, there's so many things this time that I want. Um, is it too late by round three to have a, a change of plan? It probably is. Um, I've just noticed there's a yellow worker on there. And what did I buy? My my brain has suddenly stopped working because I had to undo that. That was it. I haven't actually done that, have I? No. So I need to get the three wood and the two gold back for the holding company. Is that right? Because I think I paid for it and then I just undone it. So I think that's right. Let me know. Let me know if, if, if you have done that correctly. I think I paid for the holding company. Um, which means I can undo that. Right, so new plan is is the forestry. Let, 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 let's do it. So build a building, uh, one fish, two gold. Yeah, this isn't going to go well. We'll build the forestry. Okay, and then whenever I use a forest action space, I get a gold into my reserve. And I am going to use a forest action space. Um, I am going to... Uh, copy an action and I'm going to get four I'm going to thin out so I get four wood and because I used a forest action space I get a gold in my supply uh, not my supply my reserve okay now then uh, I've got lots of wood so I need to be building something I can't build these yet I need to be aware of them um, Can't do anything down here. Uh, can I build another building? <sighs> Gosh, immediately remove all forests but one, receiving one wood and one fish each. Hmm. Need fish. That's what we need. Um, oh gosh. Yeah, this this C deck, especially on the advanced solo mode, is a bit of a challenge. Uh, and yeah, lots of new cards that I haven't seen. I'm still going to go with the villa though. That, that's the plan, is still to go with the villa. Harbour Park, let's build the Harbour Park. So we're going to copy an action, we're going to build the Harbour Park. Once you have three elders, yeah. So spend a fish, build the Harbour Park, stick it there. I haven't got three elders yet, but that is the end of round three. So we go to round four. These sea buildings are now available. So I'm now going to put them on there. So yeah, my, my house rule is simply you see the cards before they come into the game. That's all it is. And it allows you a little bit more advanced planning. Um, okay, so red workers come back. We go to round four. Let's distribute six fish. So one goes on there, one goes on there. No foreign shares, two on my shares, and two more in my reserve. Can I get through an entire game without issuing any shares? That will be unusual. I then get these. Okay, off we go. We're placing the red workers. If you're going for the villa, put that second building in the wrong place. Yes, you're right. That needs to go here. Thank you. So. We need to be doing some uh, forest actions. So let's do it. Let's, let's reforest again. Two forests on a free double space. Uh, whenever you use a forest action, get a gold into my reserve. And after you reforest, one gold, two wood. 
There you go. Right. So we are a re is that too many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, you're allowed twelve. Right. I am at my maximum capacity of twelve. Um, so we need to be spending some. I need that building from the previous set, which allowed me to convert wood because not. Don't know. Have a lot of these got wood on them? Customs area looks quite nice. Let's can we buy a ship? We can't buy a ship. That's the problem with using the same coloured workers in the same column. Is that that is that look that that action is locked out for three rounds. Can't copy it at all. Uh, we could go sailor. Sailor time, sailor tastic time. But that's removing my yeah. Go on, let's do it. So sailor, feed him with this, uh, and then put three fish on here. So one, two, three. That gets me two gold and two wood. Oh, I can't have the two wood. Hang on, hang on. Let's undo that. That one, that one, that one. Goes back there. Goes back there. Right. Let's not do that one. Uh, we could do this forest manager. Oh, but it's five wood. No, I need to spend the wood. How can I spend the wood? Well, there's the boat hall. Oh no, that costs a cutter. There's the stock fishery, which converts wood, but it converts into gold, but it's... Uh... Yeah, so I've got lots and lots of wood in this game and nothing to do with it. This is the problem. We could take the cooling house. But I kind of want... I want more fish here before I use the cooling house. Um, oh. Well, I might be buying the holding company just to, just to get rid of the wood. I mean, the wood can be used to build a schooner or a cutter. Oh, but I can't. Uh. Oh, no, I can. I can take the constructor. Yes, I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, no, I can't because I can't take an elder. Oh, man, this is so much harder. Maybe I've got a bad mix of buildings. Yeah, struggling here. Really struggling not sure what to do i've got i've got way too much wood um and and very little to do with it i need to be building cutters that's what i need to be doing and then probably i'll get in the dock because then i'll have three three cutters of the same type okay so yeah let's do that i think we're now going to issue shares and we might buy them all back later on so i'm going to go there to issue a share all right, let's do something. There you go. Two gold. This is an interesting puzzle. It's an interesting challenge. I might appear to be getting frustrated, but I'm not. I'm just trying to I'm trying to work through it all. And it, it is a step up in difficulty, and I like that. Build a building. So six wood. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six wood and two gold for the dock. Okay, so they oh, can't build it. There's no space. <laughs> oh man, what am I doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two gold. Can't build the building. I'm gonna have to deforest. I'm gonna have to. Wait, I'm gonna have to deforest this. Right, the wood is wasted. Right, I get five wood, but I can't I can't keep it. I'm at my wood limit. But whenever you do a forest action, I get a gold into my reserve. Okay, there you go. Wow, what a mess. Yeah, no space for buildings there, Scott. Thank you. Yeah, I, I totally messed this up, haven't I? Anyway, it's fun. It's just it's just a challenge. Right, round five, the blue workers are coming back. We are distributing six fish. So one goes on here, one goes on here, one goes there, uh, two go here, and then the other one goes there. Right, okay, this is the round where stuff is going to happen, he says. 
we're going to build a ship. So one, two, three, four, six wood and the gold for a cutter. Okay. Now, do we then copy that? Where's the one that gets me that? I need a sloop. I need a sloop. Yeah, so we're going to take this and we're going to take the constructor and we're going to put it there, which comes with this. And we're going to use it to build a ship. And the ship we're going to build is a sloop. Okay, which is two wood and two fish. Okay, now, once you have three elders, which I do, I get three wood and two gold into my reserve once. So three good, so three good, three wood and two gold into my reserve. So I'm definitely using the reserve in this game. Okay, and then, yeah, that's, that's now come together. That's started to work, and I then need to build the customs area. So I'm building a building, and I'm building this by discarding a sloop. In fact, should we do that next time? I'll get the income from the sloop first. Yeah, now the villa is three wood, three, f yeah, we're fine for that. We, we can build the villa now. I don't need to, but I can build it at the end of the game. Three good and two walled. Yes, exactly. <laughs> can you raise a building if necessary? No, you can't. I'm afraid not. No raising in this game. Um, I'm totally building this. Right, when this comes into play, I'm, I'm going to build it. How are we doing now? How are we doing indeed? Now we've no fish on here, so I can't use any of my elders again until I fill uh, serve fish at the banquet table. But I don't think I'm planning to do that. Do we want to copy and build another ship? We can't, don't have enough. Um, I'm going to take the customs area next turn. Yeah, next turn I'm going to take the customs area. So this turn, I think we'll build the villa. Yeah, let's build. <laughs> yeah, come on then. Can you reforest onto a free double space? No, you can't. So in order to get adjacent to five, I don't think I'm going to be able to get adjacent to five. No. I can't stack them up beyond two, not in this particular setup. Is it time to build the cooling house? No, it's not. I'm going to build the cooling house next to... Oh no, hang on. One, two, three, four, six, seven. We're not going to get many more in there. So I think we're going to do it now. We'll build the cooling house. So it costs me four wood and one gold. I'm going to like this. Not a lot. That's what we want to do. Yeah, this is a little bit of a waste, but yeah, it's okay. Cooling house, which is going to go here. So immediately double the fish in your reserve, ignoring the limit of eight. So I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I get seven more fish. Normally there's a limit of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm not taking the reserve now, because I'm doubling that. Okay, right, we are done for round five. Anybody else exhausted? I know I am. Uh, right, round six. So the yellow workers come back. And we're going to be distributing nine fish, although I'm not going to be able to get all of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so one on each elder. Then one on my foreign share, which disappears. Two on my own shares, which go there. And then three goes in my reserve, but can't because I'm at my limit. Okay, so we are um, building the customs area. Okay, so this goes here. I have to discard a sloop to do that. Um, so actually, I should have done that last time. Yeah, that's the building I should have built last time. 
never mind. Um, so yeah, discard the sloop. I don't know if it goes back to the supply or not. It's not going to matter for this game. Um, but basically I get one wood, one fish and one gold in both my supply and my reserve. Although I can't have a fish in my reserve. Okay, next I am using the transfer reserve. So all of this goes here. Now this is a crazy amount of stuff. I have never had this much stuff before. It's a complete mess. Um, but yeah, this is all now mine. Look at all them fish. Right, and the third action. Oh, these should have come in. These sea buildings are now in. Right, what's the building that costs lots of uh, lots of fish to build? Um, I thought there was one. Yeah, the fishery. Oh, that's if you've got exactly two sloops, two cutters and a schooner. I was going for the dock. I might change my plans. I might go for the fishery instead. Although I've only got one round left, am I going to be able to build three buildings? Uh, three more fish. Uh, fish? <sighs> three more ships by the end of the game. I'm not. I will be able to uh, build one now, which will be a sloop. Uh, but then I, that worker will stay there. And the next round it will be red. And I could copy that. Yeah, so I can't, I can't do it. That's a shame. Well, maybe we serve fish. You now can't build the villa. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go with a different plan. Uh, do we have a different plan? The bank. We could go with the bank. Oh, the codfish farm. Yeah, that's what we were going to do. We were definitely building the codfish farm. That's why I need 20. Although that did apply if it was in the reserve. Never mind. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right, so I'm going to keep that 20 there. That's the 20 which I basically need to get the 8 points from the codfish farm. Um, it's going to cost me two gold and it's going to cost me seven wood to build. I don't have the seven wood, so I think we're going to be, we're going to have to deforest. Yeah, we're going to have to deforest. So before I do the transfer reserve, before I do that, I'm going to deforest, which gets me five wood. Uh, and after I, I, I would get a gold into my reserve and then I do the transfer reserve and I get the gold. Right, okay. There we go. That is round six done. We're now into round seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It'll be interesting what my score is going to be. It's definitely going to be lower because I've very much messed this up. So fish time. One goes on there, one goes on there, one goes on there. They all clear. And I get three fish. Uh, one goes up there, two goes there, and two goes there. Okay. Right, red workers come back, and here we go for the last actions of the game. I can only build one more building now, um, unless I then serve fish. So, well, let, let's build the codfish farm. Let, let's, let's copy the action to build a building. Let's build the codfish farm, which cost me one, two, three, four, seven wood and two gold. Okay, so that's that done. That's the main objective. Um, we were going to build the bank. It's going to cost me 10 gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need three gold for that, which I can. I can get three gold if I serve fish. Um, can't serve fish with the sailor because it's here. Yeah, so I think we're serving fish and we're going to put six fish. Just make sure I know what the bank. Where's the bank gone? 
Where is the bank? Cost three wood and ten gold. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so six fish go on here, uh, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. That gets me three gold. I mean, that's three points as it is. It's not bad. So do we build the bank? If we build the bank, unfortunately, oh, it's not worth it. <laughs> it cost me 10 gold. It gets me 15 points. But these are these are doubled and that's doubled. So it's actually going to cost me six points to do that. So I don't want to do that. Instead, let's just try and build something. Can I build? Yes, I can build. I can build a ship or I can build a building. And if I build a building in here, it just needs to cost wood. It doesn't it can't cost fish. Oh, I could do the boat haul. Oh, I'm a wood short. Ah, I'm one wood short. Rats. I could build the holding company. The holding company gets me that that's a net two points. Probably what I want to do. Because the dog's not going to be worth anything. I can't build the fishery. The church. Okay, so if I'd have built that there instead. Um, could I have done that? No, I couldn't have done that. Oh, can't now build the church. Anyway, it's got fish on it. Um, I think it's the... I think it's the holding company. Yeah, so I build. So I use the constructor take a fish from here to build the holding company which is three wood and two gold and the holding company goes there we are done right time to add up these scores this was a very different game this is definitely the most challenging uh, and, and revealing the sea cards ahead of time was fine because I could I could plan ahead but yeah the sea deck with the um, not the sea deck the the codfish deck is definitely harder right are we ready to add up the points Building the bank will fill your empty building space, therefore no points lost for it. Ah, yeah, thank you. So it would have actually been a net plus one. But as it was, I built that, which was a net plus two. Awesome. Right, okay, let's add up the points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 25, 24, 29. Yep, as expected, a lower score. I think that's right. That's not worth anything. That's not worth anything. Uh, sorry, that's 1, 4, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, 28. So yeah, 38 in game one, 39 in game two, 28 in game three. I didn't play as well in that one. Um, yeah, I struggled a bit with that one. It still didn't take too long. <clears throat> so there we go. We are, what, two hours, 10 minutes. A bit longer than I'd planned. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, that's three games of Nusfjord, solo game. Basic game first, advanced game second, and then advanced game with my optional house rule for the third. We've been through the uh, the herring deck, then the mackerel deck, uh, and then the cod deck. We didn't see all of the cards, we only saw half of the cards. So you could totally play through this again, uh, again, using you know the other cards that we didn't see. There's a lot of replayability, I think, in this game because of the way that the buildings come out. It means that you approach every game in a slightly different way, uh, with a different strategy. I really like this game. I think it's, and the solo is great. The solo game of this is really nice. You can play it in about 20 minutes if you weren't struggling with the rules like I was. Um, and yeah, there we go. So, Scott's saying I should play the other solo rules too. Yeah, there's a campaign as well, where basically you play three games one after another, and the buildings that you don't build stay in play, um, so that you can then use them next time and you just replace them all and you've got to try and get a hundred points over a course of three games um and you get ranks and stuff like that yeah really nice game i mean i've done a review of it already uh, the rule book's really good very very clear the appendix is really good it's just really polished it's a well put together game for his slightly on the lighter side compared to you know some of his other games uh, i really like this it plays quick and i'd be happy to play this again so there we go 
Thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters for effectively funding my time off my paid job uh, today to produce this content. Um, so yeah, if you like the content that I make, definitely like and subscribe. And again, share this video with your friends because the more views, the more money is raised for charity because all of the money from the ad revenue, it's very little per view, but it all adds up um, and it's all going to charity at the moment. I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you very much to everybody for joining in today. More videos later this week, Gloomhaven Digital this afternoon, and then I'll be back later on in the week with some other stuff. Until next time, take care and thanks very much for watching.